Hi everybody, this is Lubomir with Sports Specific and I'm here with a video today to talk about the American Medical Association's decision to label obesity as a disease in the United States. Uh, first of all, thank you for tuning into this video. Thank you very much for subscribing for those of you who have subscribed. For those of you who haven't, just go ahead and click the button and it takes one second and we'll keep you updated with new videos of events and things like that. To talk about the American Medical Association's uh, decision to label obesity a disease, I wanted to give my opinion on, on why I don't think it's a good idea and then I wanted to maybe address what they should have focused on. Now my opinion is just that, it's my opinion. I'd love to start some kind of a dialogue or conversation about this on YouTube or on my website which is sportspecific.us. Either way I'd love for you all to share your thoughts, to share your comments on this. I feel that words are a very powerful thing. I think that you know words put certain thoughts into our heads they maybe change the flow of what we're thinking and in turn what we end up doing. Uh, certain words can end a friendship. You know, certain words can get you fired from a job. If you know who Paula Dean is, she is a food, was a Food Network celebrity. One word can go ahead and get you canned and tank your entire career. So labeling something a disease, I think, is very damaging to people, especially people who are obese. It's my opinion, it's just from being in the fitness industry for over 10 years at this point, that people who have let themselves go to the point where they are considered obese, in many ways have been able to rationalize to themselves as to why it's okay to not care about this for now. Or they've been able to intellectually weave their way around the fact that they are being irresponsible about their body and about their health. Uh, especially irresponsible when you take into account people who are born with uh, cystic fibrosis, with cerebral palsy, people who cannot be active and who wish they, they could exercise. And, and these people who could be fit, who could be active, are now eating themselves into their graves. Uh, people like this, they've, they've managed, and these can be smart people, but they've managed to somehow rationalize in their minds why it's okay to do this for now. And for now turns into a span of many years sometimes. The word disease can I don't know, it can suggest something that's incurable, basically. Not every disease has a solution, not every disease has a cure. Cancer is a disease. Um, you know, AIDS can be a di considered a disease. You know, things like that don't always have a solution for them. And you might find yourself in a situation where you would say, you know what, I would love to be active and I'd love to be better about my water drinking, better about my eating, but I ha you see, I have this disease. I had this disease, it's called obesity, and this disease prevents me from doing that. This disease prevents me from doing this. Um, while I think the, that the American Medical Association's heart was in the wrong, right place, I think that their thinking is, is maybe a little bit off. And I can understand what some of the pros of doing this can be. It can make mo doctors more active in getting their patients to be more active and getting their patients to take bigger steps in preventing becoming obese, avoiding this disease. Uh, it can make insurance companies more active in, in getting their patients more active because the insurance companies will now have to pay out for things like Weight Watchers, for things like maybe a gym membership. And really, I don't know, you know, the precedent has never been set for something like this. So I'm personally very curious as how the money is going to flow with this big change that's happened. Um, what I think should be addressed more importantly than, than, than labeling it a disease is food addiction. I think if there's one thing that we as Americans, as a society, as people, could take more se seriously, it's the addiction to food. For many people, food is a substance. It, it's not just used for survival anymore. If we just ate to survive, there wouldn't be as big of a, uh, an industry in culinary arts and restaurants and everything else. Um, a substance can be used or it can be abused, right? You can use it to help you deal with something or it can turn into something that you depend on and now you're abusing this substance. I have friends who have been through treatment programs for narcotics addictions and they have went ahead and told me that oftentimes drugs are not necessarily the problem. Drugs are the solution to another problem. And to help cope with this as almost a form of therapy to deal with this kind of 
you know, post-traumatic stress that they're going through, they may turn to drugs or alcohol to help cope with these bouts of anxiety and things like that. But the problem is that using a substance as a coping mechanism is dangerous and usually it ends with an addiction now to this substance. The solution becomes another problem. And food has become this way for many, many people. People become obese for many reasons and then they become depressed and then they eat because they're depressed and it goes on and on and on. Uh, attacking this issue head on as far as treating food as an addiction I think will yield much faster results. A disease doesn't necessarily imply that there is an end to the process, that there is an end to the problem. An addiction lets you know that one, there is a problem and two, it can be overcome. Addictions in our mind are meant to be overcome. You can fight an addiction. You can be a recovering food addict. It's difficult to be somebody who's recovering from the disease of obesity. It's strange to even think about. But in my opinion, words are one of the most important things in our world, in our thinking. Um, so I would love for you all to comment. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. And if there's anything that I said that offended you, um, tough. You know, I, it's not something that I like to apologize for when I feel that I'm in the right, but if you feel that I'm in the wrong, please, by all means, correct me, let me know what your opinion is. Um, again, Lubomir Murashik was Sports Specific. The website is www.sportspecific.us. And please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, and we'll keep you updated with more videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.